In this video, I'm going to show you why Granada, Nicaragua has to be at the top of your bucket list. In this video, we're going to explore volcanoes, wander the vibrant streets, eat delicious food, and get a better understanding of this overlooked country. Best things to do when you're here in Granada is come wander around Calle Atravesada. I think that's how it's pronounced, but it's this super long street that's full of just a bunch of different street stalls. You've got people selling produce, you've got people selling cell phones, sunglasses, purses, there's loud music. This street really does have it all and it's lively every single day. So if you're in need of buying anything, this is definitely the street to come to and it goes on for forever. Granada has a massive market here and it's just a total maze of different shops where you can buy all of your produce, any meat you need to get, you can get clothing, you can get electronics, spices, beans, they've got it all and it's such a maze. I feel like most markets I go to usually there's more of like a structure and this one's not. It's so many different little mazes and back alleyways in here. I'm really enjoying this market. All just tight little, con permiso, all just tight little back alleyways through here. It's absolutely incredible. And I love that it just like gives you a glimpse into the local life and you get to see exactly how people live here and like what their day to day is and where they go shopping. And I think this is one of the best parts about travel is just getting to fully immerse yourself. If you are in need of a good cheap meal, I have heard, I cannot attest myself, but I've heard from multiple sources that right here at the bus stop has a really good restaurant and for really cheap meals. That woman right there in the blue just like grabbed my arm and smiled at me as she was walking past. I will say the people here in Granada are some of the friendliest people. They are so happy. They're always putting a smile on their face and everyone is always saying hello to you. Um, so I think it definitely does help learn a couple phrases in Spanish. Say hello back. Hola, como esta? You know, or buen dia, or buenas tardes, or buenas noches if it's nighttime. So learn some different phrases. It's really fun to just hang out and try and chat with the locals here. I feel extremely safe here in Granada. I did a whole week here. I was doing a week stay with a local family here and practicing my Spanish. It was absolutely incredible. And the entire time here, I'd go to the gym. I'd come back at dark at like 8 p.m. and totally safe. Like it's definitely a community friendly feel to this town. So, a bit more on the Spanish school. Uh, I spent an entire week living with a host family here. They didn't speak any English, and so it definitely was like complete immersion. Immersion? Yeah, it was definitely complete immersion. Um, and I did 20 hours of Spanish lessons. It was one on one and it was five days a week, so Monday through Friday, and it was four hours each day. With the Spanish instructor, I learned so much Spanish, and then when I was back at the homestay, I was also just constantly practicing my Spanish, and it included three meals per day. Now, I do actually intermittent fast, so I only eat two meals per day, but so all my meals were covered, my Spanish lessons were covered and included a private room with my own private bathroom. The total was 260 US dollars for an entire week. So seven nights, seven days, and then Spanish lessons, 20 hours. All of it, $260. I cannot recommend Spanish Dale enough. Honestly, one of the best Spanish schools I've ever attended. Granted, I've never attended any of them, I guess, but I, kind of want to stay here in Renata just to do another week with this company. 
It was so worth it. I will link them up here and then also down in the description. Hands down, one of the best things to do here in Granada is honestly just wander the streets. All the buildings are painted such a bright, beautiful color. I'm sure they have to do like yearly upkeeps on them because they're all so pristine and gorgeous. It's honestly just one of my favorite. Granada also has a ton of different fun restaurants and bars. So I made it to the lake. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes to walk here from the Central Park or Parque Centro. Honestly, I don't think you need to come here. It's not a pretty beach. It's, there's some picnics, some tables that some families are sitting around over here. There's a very nice breeze. So if it's really windy right now, I'm sorry. So the breeze is nice. But yeah, I don't really think there's much here. While you're walking here, you'll definitely have a bunch of tour guides stop you and try and sell you different tours to go out to the Islets de Granada. It's basically just a group of like little islands that were created when the volcano here recently erupted. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool. You can go out on a boat tour, go through them. You can go kayak through them. Yesterday I was talking with some locals and they were saying how here at the lake there used to be a bunch of restaurants and it used to be very lively and full of activity but then the last couple years or since covid it just has totally died out i think even before covid too if i recall correctly and so yeah it definitely kind of looks like a desolate ghost town over here it looks like it could have been really interesting and unique and cool and different but it's just not anymore and so we're gonna head back over to the center of town and we're gonna go check out more of the beautiful streets and maybe a chocolate museum if you're a chocolate lover you have to come to the museo de coca it's a chocolate museum you can get a chocolate facial you can make your own chocolate you can sample different chocolates um, they've got kind of a whole cafeteria where you can make Grapes and they've got dance and stuff going on. I actually have made chocolate before. It was when I was in Costa Rica uh, at Cafe Tio Leo's. If you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go check it out right here. It was over a year ago, so video quality wasn't the best, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, and so they do have free coca tea if you want to try it. Something I love about this place is they don't waste anything. They use the husk of the coca beans to make the tea. Whoa, that is so good. Okay, say with me, like Latinos boys and girls. Arriba, Arriba abajo, abajo, al centro, centro adentro. Salud. Salud. Ooh. It's like a ginger rum. It's a lot of ginger. <laughs> the next one is the Bailey. Just put it in a cup of beer, please. Next up, we're gonna try some Baileys, and they make all of this stuff here. And with the free tour, you can get brownies, chocolate, and rum. Why not? Oh, that's really good. It's way better than Bailey's, for sure. <laughs> you guys have to order from their menu here. During the free tour, I got to sample some of their little brownie bites. So delicious. But then I also got the Amor Prohibido, I think, is that what it is? Yeah, Amor Prohibido. It's um, chocolate liqueur, Bailey liqueur, whiskey, and chocolate syrup. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. And their little patio sitting area here is so cute and quaint and Highly recommend it. I'm very tempted to like order a brownie with ice cream. I don't think I'm going to though, but oh, it's so, the little brownie bite that I had, so delicious. Cheers. All right, we are climbing up a very narrow staircase to go see the best view in all of Granada during sunset. We are in a church, a cathedral, it's at the rooftop of a cathedral, and it's gonna be so gorgeous. You get to see the lake, you get to see the volcano, all the good things. The view from up here is absolutely incredible, especially at sunset, because the sun is hitting off of the main cathedral in town, 
and you just have such a gorgeous view of it. Uh, the colors, also seeing the volcano, seeing the lake. You have to make sure you come up here. It only costs one USD to come up here, which is like 35 Cordobas. So definitely recommend checking this out. So pleasantly surprised by kayaking through the Islets de Granada. You can do kayaking or you can hire a boat tour. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend the boat tour though because you're packed onto a boat and you're going through the channels very quickly. Whereas kayaking, one, you get exercise out of it, but two, you're just going slower. It's more intimate. You get to see more wildlife and it's just so peaceful and enjoyable out there. Oh, it was absolutely incredible. Nicaragua is home to so many volcanoes and Granada is home to the Masaya volcano and you can see the lava. It is down in like a massive crater though and so I've read things that it's like you don't actually see the lava but you more so see the glow of it but you can't see it until it's dark out and so we're here the sun has just set so I'm gonna go around kind of to the top of a hill maybe see if we can get any good sunset shots. And then once it's dark, then we're gonna go check out the lava. All right, so there's not much for the sunset right now, but I highly recommend you come up the stairs. It's an easy walk up here. Definitely not wheelchair accessible though, but you get a really awesome higher vantage viewpoint of the crater. And then you also just get to like look out over all the vast land and see like all of the lava rock from like the last eruption. So, so I'm not sure how the flashlight or this glow looks on my face. Oh my God, that's just so bright. Um, this probably looks awful, but anyways, it is 6.30. It still isn't all that dark yet and you really still can't see a glow from the lava. Okay, so the lava turned out being really, really cool. We made it back down. It was too dark for me to like try and film and tell you guys anything. But it was really cool because you could see more than just the glow of the lava. You could see the lava moving through. Um, it was 22 US dollars, or I think it was like 20 US dollars. Is it worth it? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think so. If it's your one and only chance in your entire lifetime to see lava, then yes, definitely worth it. But if you're going to be spending time through Central America and maybe going to Guatemala and seeing uh, El Fuego volcano where it's like fully erupting, which I'm going to be heading there in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for those videos, I don't think it'd be worth it then. I don't know. But it is the only volcano in the entire world that you can see lava and that you can drive a car up to the top of it. So I guess if maybe that's some like weird bucket list item you've got, maybe? I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved Granada and I will see you next week.